Hey guys, this is Thomas here at Battlefield Toyota and Culpepper. Here in front of me, I have the 2017 Toyota Tundra. This is the 1794 edition with the off-road package. So I'll go over some of uh, what this truck has to offer and see if it's the right fit for you. All right, so right off the bat, you'll notice the wheels have changed ever so slightly. It's that of a off-road wheel with the Michelin tires, um, which add a little bit more grip than your standard tires and like mud or snow or anything like that. Also, you'll notice back up in the wheel wells, that little blue thing in there. Those are your uh, TRD Trail Tune Balstein shock absorbers. Okay. And also you get the sticker on the back. So in the front bumper here, you'll notice that it uh, has uh, these little dimples here. Those are your parking sonar, so it'll help you kind of uh, park into a, um, a parking spot a little bit better without, you know, bumping up and scratching and denting your your vehicle it's also on the rear as well and the 1794 and platinum exclusively you get this LED DRL in here like I said that's only exclusive to 1794 and platinum models it's really sharp there's the 1794 edition Tundra badging also something you get with the 1794. There's plenty of other features, but I'll get into that later. All right, so back here, you'll notice that these dimples here are, the, are your parking sonars. So it just, like I said, helps mitigate, you know, scratching and messing up your bumpers. Standard backup camera, which is high resolution, by the way, makes it really easy to uh, to park it also has little blue lanes to help kind of guide you into a parking spot right buff tailgate so real easy to open it up right. so quick fact here the reason why they call it the 1794 simply put is because a gentleman uh, back in 1794 bought this uh, I believe it was somewhere around 3,000 acres for a ranch and then after time went by, Toyota actually purchased that land to start manufacturing these Tundras. So that's where they, that's where they uh, make these Tundras out there in Texas. Okay. All right, so in the back here, you start to notice that the 1794, in the, the interior is a little bit different than most. It's similar to like that of a King Ranch or a Laramine on the Dodge. Kind of they got that western style look to it. The leather is actually pretty interesting. So you notice it does have perforated seats as well as standard leather. You also got to get this crocodile skin leather here, really soft. And then this fabric type leather here. Okay. Every Tundra gets the rear sliding window, so it just makes it a little bit more fun to drive these things around when you, with your family. Also, if you have some tools or anything like that you'd like to put in here, you can fold this up. Extra storage, storage space right there. You also get AC vents, which is kind of neat. So not only do you get it underneath the seat, but you also get it directly in your upper body as well. With an output right here for charging. Over the front here. All right, power seats, lumbar support, and also leg support here so you can I don't know if you can see this, but when I put to push this button, this actually lean downward, leans downward. It's all for a little bit leg support if you have long legs. All right, front two windows are powered. With one touch capability, up and down. You also get memory seats, so if you, you know, kind of like for the husband and wife, you know, if the husband's a little bit taller, he can set his seat preference to one. The wife is a little bit shorter, he can set his seat preference, she can set her seat preference to two. And not only does it uh, use the uh, the seat position, it also uses the, the exact mirror position for, for the driver. You get power folding windows, or I'm sorry, power folding mirrors here, so if you, have a, if you want to keep a garage kept, it makes it a little bit more easy. Bed light is here, blind spot monitoring. All that does is basically, anytime somebody's in your left to right hand blind spot, there's little indicators in the mirror that lights up. Okay, so in a truck this size, it's kind of ideal to have. Also, you get this power sliding window button here. 
This little adjuster, that's for your elevation for the headlights. So if you want it leaning or uh, pointing more towards uh, up or more towards the down, that's what that adjuster is for. So if you have like a lifted truck or something like that, it's ideal to have. Or, you know, if it's foggy or, or anything of the sort, you can use that. Okay. Let me hop in here. All right. So you get the uh, premium Entune JBL audio. With, in, with integrated navigation. So I'll tell you, the JBL sound system is really, really nice. What, what really makes it stand out is that every single speaker has a designated sound. So your lows, your mids, and your highs all have a designated speaker for that sound. So it, 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 I mean, it sounds absolutely phenomenal when you listen to music. Also, one thing I wanna point out, with the Platinum, you actually do not get a uh, wood grain steering wheel. So even though they're practically the same truck, same features and all, Really, the only difference is the interior styling and this um, this wood grain wood grain steering wheel. A lot of people like that. Nice feel to it. Okay. Dual climate control, heated and cool seats in the front. Okay. USB and auxiliary is down there. This is also equipped with uh, satellite radio and HD radio. All right. Since 2016, you do get a standard trailer brake output here. All right. So you don't have to get an aftermarket one, it's already built in. Okay. Parking button is right here for your parking sonars. Full driver is right here, it's the slider, really easy to use. Okay, sunroof. Bluetooth, hands-free combo from the steering wheel. All that good stuff, so. Well, that's, uh, that's just a quick overview of this truck. Hopefully I went over most of everything. And hopefully this clears up uh, a few questions you might have about the 1794, much less with the off-road package on it. All right, let me know what you guys think. Peace.